Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name is Matthew Kidman, and today we have Don Williams from Platypus. Welcome, Don, and Roger Montgomery from the Montgomery Fund. And we are talking financials, big part of the Australian economy, lots of stocks to look at. So let's rattle through them. First one, Roger, I'm going with you. Done well recently is AMP Capital. What's your thoughts? Well, uh, reported profit has grown from $804 million to $884 million over 10 years with the benefit of an extra $5 billion of capital from shareholders, uh, we would rate it a sell. Uh, sell. It's a mediocre business at best. Don, you're more optimistic? Uh, no, we haven't, we haven't held AMP for a long time and we'd rate it as a sell as well. Okay, well let's switch to insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, insurance Group, uh, QBE, seems to be in a turnaround mode. Uh, it is, it's definitely in a better place than it's been for a long time, but for us, you know, the business is, is quite opaque. We really don't know what's in their, in their book and there seems to be a mismatch uh, in, a, in a lot of areas in the, in the QBE numbers. So, so? That's, an, that's an avoid for us. Okay, an avoid. Rog, you like QBE? I like the avoid instead of the sell. That's, uh, that's great. <laughs> it's yeah, dangerous. I absolutely agree with Don. Uh, you know, after years of uh, growth by acquisition, um, they spent 2014 uh, shoring up their, their loss reserves. Um, the business uh, I believe is expensive now after rallying about 25%. Um, and they've also got exposure to uh, a you know, very large uh, mortgage lending book uh, and in an expensive property environment where people have borrowed a lot, that's a dangerous place to be. Avoid? Avoid. Okay, well, let's get onto a company that's done very well over recent years, General Insurer Suncorp. Yeah, Suncorp's, Suncorp's what, it's grown at 30% a year for the last three years. Uh, but again, uh, uh, Loss reserves, insurance loss reserves have been a large part uh, of that growth and, and we think that the insurance market where they get 80% of their earnings from uh, is mature and highly competitive. So I don't know how much is left in it after those three years of growth, so I'd say it's expensive at the moment. So sell. So, okay. Don? Yeah, I'd, I'd put it as a hold. I mean, you're getting a decent yield, it's a 6% plus uh, fully franked yield and there is some growth there. It's not, it's not great growth, but you know, you're, you're where we are in a market that doesn't have a lot of growth, so we think it's a reasonable. Uh, counter. Okay, so we're going to annuities now, which is obviously a subject a lot of people are talking about with an ageing population. Yeah. Challenger. Challenger has some of the most uh, challenging uh, financial statistics in their, in their results. Um, we really can't figure out uh, you know, what, their, what their underlying profit is, so that's an avoid for us. Too hard. Right. We, we've spent about six months trying to understand Challenger. Uh, and Andy Mackin, uh, our senior analyst, uh, has spent a lot of time with the company, including its chairman. Uh, and as a result, we think, the, we think the liabilities attached to the funding of the annuities is largely misunderstood by the market. Um, if they understood it better, they still might not like it anymore because the reality is if interest rates rise, the sentiment towards it will be negative, but it won't be such a negative impact on the business. So we think its long-term prospects are very, very good, but it'll be a bumpy ride. So we've got it as a, as a hold at the moment. Pushing uh, up to a buy. Pushing up to a buy. Okay, another smaller stock, which hasn't done so well in recent times, but has been a big growth stock is Flexi Group. You yeah. got a view on it? Yeah, we do. Look, we, we like it. We don't think it's particularly expensive. We think it's cheap. In the absence of anything else, we think its prospects are okay. But longer term, there's a real risk that PayPal um, could be a serious competitor to their business lending business. Mm -hmm. um, they're now growing more by acquisition than they are organically, and that's obviously a flag for us to keep an eye on. But on balance, I would say it's a hold to a buy. There's some value there. Do you feel the same way, Dom? Uh, yes, yeah, similar. We, we own Flexi Group for, for some time, probably for two years after, after it listed, and it's a, we think it's a reasonable business, um, but it, it is, it is uh, prone to um, you know, credit crunches, if you like, and, um, and really they don't have any, any defences against that, so we've, we've, we've been avoiding it for the last couple of years. Avoid. So the financial industry is a growth industry, but we're finding it hard to get any buyers here today. 